Hey guys, um, how's everyone doing today? Uh, this is Draw Chat. We're in day 29. And we are continuing on our drawing journey as we're continuing to draw pretty much um, Japanese anime, cartoon style. Um, and I am pretty much documenting myself here, showing my journey and seeing how far I can go just practicing and improving every day. So if you're new to the channel, that's essentially what I do here on YouTube is just continue on to practice and to improve by watching a lot of other um, anime artists on YouTube here. So this is something that I'm going to be doing. Um, let's see, SS Art one on YouTube, go follow them, check out their channel. They have a great, a lot of dr great draw alongs to, you know, follow. And that's one of my recommendations to follow. And I'm also wanted to um, mention to, you know, you guys out there on the comments, I'm very grateful. Thank you so much for your kind comments, as well as your encouragement to be able to continue and to be able to work and all these, you know, great guides and recommendations. They're awesome. Keep them coming. I'm very grateful for you guys to be able to, um, you know, and I'm sure you guys have been in my shoe before because, you know, we all had to start somewhere. So that's why I... Um, Wanted to give back and tell you guys as well. Thank you so much for that. And um, this is actually one of the reasons why, you know, I wanted to continue making this um, YouTube channel and to draw. So let's do it. Um, you know, if you wanted to hear my voice in the background, go ahead. Uh, I think that's why some people enjoy watching um, this YouTube video because they like to have something in the back as they like to draw along practice. So my encouragement is to, at least for myself, I like to practice drawing at least 15 to 20 minutes a day try to and start with some basics we're talking about shapes so as you can see in this video here i'm going to be practicing a little bit of shapes just do some warm-ups maybe we'll, we'll try that let's do some circles here all right here we go we got some circles going let's do some triangles And, you know, I really think that the way, like, your drawing tablet or your pencil, wherever it is positioned, I have it leaning, like, towards the side like this a little bit. So I got to use my um, elbow and my forearm towards my um, hand and my wrist to be able to practice that. So I think people will say that, like, subconsciously, you'll pick it up as you will slowly um, get better as you draw. So this is something that's, like, if you want to do, like, a square... See, I, I drew that a little bit slow, but I think this time it will be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, you know, think of sometimes you got to think of like, who cares? If you're if you're thinking about it, that's why I always recommend like letting your subconscious kind of go to it and flow with it. Because the more you do it, you know, this is why practice is important. The more you do it, the better you get. So there, there we go. Or something, something like this. So the square does get better as the first try and then just like, don't worry about it. I know we're, we can all sometimes be perfectionists, but I feel like sometimes like we got to keep moving, you know, we got to keep moving forward. And I think that's the best way to keep practicing, get better and just doing these basic warm ups. And again, I had that from somebody who commented and said, you know, doing a lot of basic, war uh, basic shapes really do help w your warm up. So I'm showing that I did it off camera, but I'm going to show this that we should definitely all uh, continue practicing the most basic foundations and to be able to do that and to draw. So I'm going to open a new sheet. I can probably erase that whole thing, but I'm going to open a new sheet. So we're going to start our draw along here. So we did, we did our warm ups, probably do more than what I would, what I was doing, but I just kind of wanted to show that. Um, let's actually start with, um, you know, doing a follow along with watching a YouTuber here, SS Art One, go follow them, hit them, uh, give them a like and whatnot, subscribe. Uh, they do have a lot of great videos, but again, we start from the top. Here we go, we're gonna draw our circle. And again, we have our layers here, if you can see on the right hand, uh, bottom right hand side. And then we'll make three lines. This is gonna be near the eye area. So I'm watching this 
YouTuber draw and let's see, we'll probably have to slow it down just a little bit because I am seeing that they are going really fast. So again, this is one of the layers we can do as transparency. So let's, I'll make another, make another layer there, but this is, this is where we're going to actually draw the character. So there we go. We'll draw the line and I can see that they're drawing here and they use that guideline as a reference there. And then they went, it's going to be something a little bit different. Oh, interesting. Okay. And then we'll draw the face. 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 All right. By the way, we're drawing, uh, if you guys are familiar with, what is that? Kakashi from Naruto. Kakashi from Naruto. Um, this is essentially who we're doing. And we'll draw the eyes right here. So I'm doing the follow along. It's the first time me watching. Very distinct. Very distinct eyes Kakashi has, yes. All right, so this is it. Follow the reference here. Oops, get back on up. Towards the side. All right. All right. There's the ear. Don't worry about making some mistakes because we're going to definitely be making some mistakes here. Nope. Maybe I made that a little bit too fat. The hair. There we go. A little bit better. All right, and then it looks like, oh, we, sh we don't have enough space to draw that head, but, or there looks like they were making a reference for the head. Okay, so we'll go back here, draw the other strand of hair. We're still gonna follow that guideline there. And then, still following the guidelines. Remember guys, to use the, your gu guidelines as, as a great um, example, follow along. And follow the hair here. It looks like we're making like lines of sun, like a like a old school. It looks like I went overboard. I probably should have had the hair or a little bit more room to draw. Stick number one, but we're still gonna continue. Alright. We still have our guidelines, and then we'll draw. draws plate here and then we'll draw the neck but gosh she has the vest And then we have Kakashi's shoulder, because you know Kakashi's neck has uh, he's got a strong neck. What do you guys think? All right, so have that here. Probably should have erased that a little bit more. There we go. Something like this. And moving along. Moving along, yeah? And then this tip from the hair, I'm going to make the mask. So I think, yeah, yeah. So that's that's definitely a good good spot to, to go just make the mask from here there we go we have the okay so the nose here maybe the 
pupils or the eyes are a little bit too big, but it's not bad. Of course, we could have done the hair a little bit better, but Okay, it's, I mean, it's not, not too shabby, not too bad. Again, following along, just drawing the other artist from SS1. Real great artist, and they really do emphasize a lot of good traits of drawing Kakashi. It doesn't look as big. Maybe I should have had the head a little bit bigger. Um, and then this part right here, I probably could make that like it's coming out, um, the headband part. I'm going to zoom in, make that logo. Good stuff. All right. Probably had the brush a little bit too big, but okay. I want to make the. I don't know why the the eyes eyes are just. Hmm. And it looks like the, this artist did a lot of uh, did a lot of shading. No, we're going to be practicing. Maybe we could do another Kakashi. But I don't want this video to run too long. Oh. So. Really cool. I like this. Uh, I like this whole shading, sketching, etching technique where it's like emphasize the mask, and then we did this. Pretty sweet. I probably should have ended here. Should have had that. Pretty sweet. All right, and then we'll draw more. Follow, follow along. It looks like he has hair shadows. Oh, okay. All right, I'll just kind of follow along. Just make the shadows bigger. Lower my stabilization so that way. I will follow follow along the shadows. Does look cool. This is again my first time ever drawing Kakashi. I've dripped of um a true uh, Naruto before, I mean, Naruto, fun to draw, especially characters that, you know, you could uh, relate to or like to watch a lot. That's something that is really cool. Um, looks like we're going to do more of these uh, shading here around the neck area. Hey, we're just having fun shading and drawing. Let's see. You know, this is one of the reasons why I don't really do music in the background is because I've seen where people have like their YouTube channel demonetized or I know there's like a lot of free um, monetization um, type music where it's free to use, copyright free, all that. But I don't know. I just wanted something a little bit different. And I just wanted to make this where I just won't have a problem later on. I do also make my own music too, but I just wanted to kind of 
do this and just where I have myself instead of the kind of the ADD music in the background. But I mean, it helps people sometimes like I, I, I know that and people like the whole, oh, I like, you know, the music in the background and, you know, everybody's different. But again, like with my channel, I don't know. Maybe I will. Who knows? Never say never. But I, but at least at this point, I don't plan on doing it just to avoid a lot of the mishaps, confusion and the whole AI system, because YouTube has an AI um, automa automative uh, check when it comes to um, seeing if your video is copyright proof and whatnot. But and I get it. There's just a lot, a lot of people doing their thing and finding exploits and loopholes to avoid that, especially if it's especially if it's uh, the artist's actual own work. But here I'm just doing a rendition of just another artist and they're probably doing another rendition of that artist who created Naruto. But this is, you know, this is all for the fun and game. So we're just having fun. Nothing, nothing too crazy. But there we go. Um, one thing I definitely want to look at, at least from what I'm seeing here. Oh, actually, you know, what? I'll, I'll finish this part right here. Why not? One thing I definitely want to look at is definitely like the eyes, the pupil, for some reason. I feel like I made it too big. That's something I could look back again. Maybe I'll, we'll do another drawing of Kakashi on day 30 or something, um, or a Naruto character. But I definitely think that like having your, um, guidelines or having your, um, yeah, your guidelines in reference here with the circle is definitely super important. Um, but you know, we're, we're learning as we're going by. And if this is your first time drawing Kakashi, then definitely, um, you know, shouldn't, at least for me, I, I don't want to be too hard on myself. I can definitely tell a huge difference. At least the eyes are other people. The eyes are a little bit too big. Uh, I can erase it, but at this point, I want to keep it so I can look back and say, Hey, I made a mistake. I learned. Don't want to be too hard on myself, at least because we want to look back and be like, oh yeah, we, oh, we want to look back and say, this is something that we learn. We shouldn't be too perfectionist about certain things, but if we're, if we're, if we're getting experience just by even doing simple things, because this is more, to me, more interesting than just drawing shapes, even though those are important, but we're practicing. We're putting the pen on paper, pen on our digital tablets or whatever, and practicing and this is something that I like, and I think that, you know, one should take more um, practice, more time. We'll just get better, especially this. I don't do much this this shading stuff, but it's fun. It's cool. Uh, and it's really, really interesting because I like it. De it definitely makes the picture look more. It stands out a lot more. So you can definitely see why people like to use this. Um, the lines with the, the little shading, shading lines and stuff, so. And we will continue as we continue on. Who knows? I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll do more, but I probably should have had a little bit more straighter lines. But yeah, I mean, I saw some uh, people leaving some comments here and saying that lower the stabilization so you can get used to just, you know, free flowing and fl uh, drawing because of your hands and stuff and stabilization kind of like, kind of can be a crutch. They didn't necessarily say word for word like that, but like it can be, but. They're not lying for sure and definitely helps. But, you know, the more I practice drawing like this circle, circle, look, it just, they just, you know, it's, it's one thing where it's like, maybe I should raise the stabilization just, just a little bit and how, see how it got, it got a little bit better. But yeah, I mean, this is what is going to come through time because, you know, you don't have on actual hard, um, using a real pencil, hard paper and stuff. You won't have that stabilization. That's why you got to keep practicing with the hands. So you won't have that later on if you're actually drawing pen and paper and stuff. But I think because we're using digital, it's, it, it can be, it can be left off a little bit less, but, um, there's more, uh, freedom in that. And I think it's okay since again, we have all these different layers, all these different tools and stuff since we're doing digital drawing illustrations and such. Um, and you know, if you're, used to just drawing on pen and paper, you know, do that and just 
work with whatever medium you're comfortable with and just see what works for you and whatever you're whatever you like that's better for you but other than that i think i want to end the, the video uh we'll continue on with more days to draw and we'll continue on practicing so if you want to follow along please do subscribe uh check me out on youtube or my other videos here on youtube hit like or whatnot leave a comment if you like um i do appreciate everybody's time um and everybody's um kindness and your kind words as well so I really truly thank you. Thank you guys all for your time and just to watch this video and whatnot. And I wish you all the best as well. And I really, you know, just want to encourage others that as amateur as I am, especially making YouTube videos, that we can all get there someday. You know, we can all get better each and every day. And I think that's a huge accomplishment. And it's something that we all have to realize that like it's not going to happen in a day but one percent every day just imagine that 365 days you know get better every day and i think that's why we have to put in our time especially if it's something that you truly enjoy and truly like like it's worth it you know in the end you're going to be looking back even for me i'll look back at these videos a year from now because i started a couple months ago you know it's worth it it's definitely worth it and it, i did not even know any of these kind of like techniques and such back then so i'm just very grateful again but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this is draw chat see you guys in the other videos take care